Hello and welcome to the lesson KCC 2011 paper 1 question number 21 integration and use of the trapezium rule. So let's go straight to the question and see how we're supposed to solve that. So the question reads using the trapezium rule with seven ordinates estimate the area of the region bounded by the curve y is equals to negative x squared plus 6x plus 1 the lines x is equals to 0 y is equals to 0 and x is equals to 6 that is a uh, 5 marks then part b of the question calculate the area of the region in a above by integration method and then um that part the percentage error of the estimated area to the actual area of the region correct to two decimal places so those are the questions so let's jump to the first part of the question and see how we're supposed to so for the first part of the question when using the seven ordinates we shall take the limit from x is equals to 0 to x is equals to 6. We get the height by taking 6, subtract 0, then we divide by 6, not by 7, in order to get the 7 ordinates. So that will give us the interval that you're going to use from x is equals to 0 to x is equals to 6. Now, having that interval, we shall go to the next step, that is uh, preparing the table of values me prepare a table of values where I'm going to use the values that are, will give me the ordinates x from x is equals to 0 to x is equals to 6. So that is the table. Uh, so we have x and y. X and y. That is, uh, we are going to use this function to fill this table. Y is equals to negative x squared plus 6x plus 1. So that is a function that we're going to use uh, while filling the table. So from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, we don't have 7, so we shall stop at 6. The interval is uh, 0 to 6. So using the, um, the table, I've already done this, uh, using that uh, function y is equals to negative x squared plus 6x plus 1 and substituting the values of x, this is what we obtain. So those are the values of y. Now, let's now use the trapezium rule in obtaining the area using those um, ordinates. So, when getting these, we get uh, half multiplied by h, then y1. So, let me indicate uh, the values of y1 from y1, that is y1, y2, y3, y4, those are the ordinates, y5, uh, then we have y6, then y7. There are seven ordinates. So, the trapezium rule, we take half height, then uh, multiplied by the first and the last, uh, the sum of the first and the last, that is um, y1 plus y7, then plus 2 uh, multiplied by the sum of the remaining, the middles, or the middles will be indicated there. So that is the formula, the trapezoidal rule or the trapezium rule. So have height into brackets, first plus the last plus twice or the middles. Then... Um, now let us uh, substitute these with the values that we have in the table. So we have uh, half times uh, the height is 1. Then uh, the first one, y1 plus y7. y7 is 1. Then plus twice uh, from y2 or the middles, from y2 all the way to y6. So we add everything there. And then... Um, What you're going to do uh, after we have added, uh, we need now to apply. Let me uh, get a space here. So it's equals to a half uh, multiplied by when you add everything there, uh, you get um, 
you're going to get uh, this will give um, 1 plus 1 plus no, not 40 something I didn't think it is so so when you add 1 plus 1 plus twice all the middles it will give uh, 82 yeah it will give 82 so half of 82 that gives uh, 41 square units as the area under the curve using the trapezoidal or the trapezium rule now that is how we obtain the area in the first part that is uh, using the trapezoidal rule now what about uh, the second part that is the area of the region in a above by integration now we are going to integrate uh, from the limits 0 to 6 that is from x is equals to 0 to x is equals to 6 when you integrate that function it gives the actual area under that curve so that is how you're supposed to do it so to integrate this we integrate negative give negative uh, x cubed divided by 3 plus 6 uh, this will be 3x squared then uh, plus um, x then plus a constant c then uh, the square brackets and then don't forget the limits uh, x from x is equals to 0 to x is equals to 6 so that is how we integrate so the next thing is to substitute the limits uh, substitute the limits um, in that uh, function you've got after integrating so the substitute uh, 6 uh, where we have x so just substitute that with uh, 6 plus a constant then you close then uh, subtract when you do the substitution with 0 I have to add the constant I have to add the constant there so plus c the constant is c then um, subtract when you substitute a 0 where you have x you put 0 there you remain with c so this is what you get um, when you work out uh, these uh, you get negative 72 then uh, this will give plus 108 then plus uh, 6 then uh, this will give 42 now you notice that c will subtract each other and uh, that only give zero so you remain with the 42 square units so the value of c when you open the brackets will subtract and give zero so that is the actual area using the integration method now let's go to the percentage error now to get the percentage error you get the error of uh, this is divided by the actual divided by the actual area times um, 100 you are getting the percentage error of the estimated area to the actual area of the region now the actual area is the area that we have obtained by integration method and then the estimated area is the area using the trapezoidal rule or the trapezium rule now the area obtained uh, using um, integration method is 42 then uh, by estimation of trapezium is 41 so uh, 42 minus 41 divided by 42 that is the actual times 100 and this um, will give uh, when you work it out it will give 2.38 percent correct to decimal places and that is simply how you're supposed to solve that question on integration and use of the trapezoidal or the trapezium rule